Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. Today we will be discussing a question that came from a subscriber of the Panic Attack Recovery newsletter. This subscriber asked the following, is there a link between alcohol and panic attacks? When responding to this question, we would start by pointing out something that is commonly known. Alcohol can be used as a means of escape. It does make sense then that some people are drawn to it for this very reason. In our experience, some sufferers of panic attacks do seem to be drawn to alcohol, and there does seem to be a correlation in some cases between alcohol and panic attacks. Consider the following. One group of researchers found a stronger association than what would be left to chance between alcohol and panic attacks. They also found an overlap in the symptoms of panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and alcohol withdrawal. Another group of researchers indicated that studies on alcoholic patients have found a higher than expected occurrence of panic disorder and suggest a positive correlation between the level of alcohol consumption and severity of anxiety. They also found an increased prevalence of alcoholism among patients with panic disorder and their blood relatives. A comparison of symptoms, physiological and neurochemical changes known to occur in both alcohol withdrawal and panic disorder reveals a degree of similarity between the two conditions. Based on the data, these researchers proposed that the chemical and cognitive changes occurring as the result of repeated alcohol withdrawals may kindle and condition coincidence of panic attacks in susceptible individuals. What can you do? It's very important to reach out for help from a professional if you do have a problem misusing alcohol. But right now, we would like to share with you some promising information. Another group of scientists found that those with co-occurring alcohol dependency and panic disorder were helped by cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. When trials were conducted after 30 days, both the number of individuals meeting the criteria for panic disorder and the number of individuals meeting the criteria for alcohol dependency had decreased. At PanicAttackRecovery.com, we recommend to anxiety sufferers, particularly those who have not considered CBT, to give it a shot. In a nutshell, the process of CBT involves the following. One, locating the cognitive distortions that may be causing your anxiety and panic attacks, and two, replacing these distortions with healthier and accurate thoughts that can make you feel better. If you would like more information of CBT actually being applied in specific examples, feel free to visit our website at panicattackrecovery.com. There, you can also obtain specific references to the research mentioned in this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our videos if they're helpful for you. Please feel free to share our videos with others who may benefit from them. Your communication is important to us. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in comments below. To get started with more help, you can join our free newsletter at panicattackrecovery.com.